uh, at the plant we got informed that the blimp was going to be coming and so we had a little committee that got put together to determine who was going to be able to get to ride and so it was it was pretty much a random draw everybody had at least one chance to get on the blimp um, you could buy more chances if you if you so chose um, but and then it was it was random draw and who got on and so I was fortunate enough to get a, to get a ride. Uh, the ride itself was surprisingly smooth and quiet. I mean, it was a little bit like you know, at times being on a boat, right? So it, it would, you know, you rocked a little bit with uh, the, the movement of the air, I would imagine. And, um, but, you know, it's surprisingly quiet. It's actually, it seems like it was louder on the ground outside the blimp than it was in. Um, and once you got up, uh, very shortly, you were allowed to walk around the cabin. And so you could take, uh, and you could take pictures of whatever you wanted. Um, the crew was great. They gave uh, uh, a good de uh, uh, description of the, what they do, you know, how they, where they've been in their careers. Um, uh, but the greatest things about it were, you know, we certainly got to fly around our own plant, yeah, which was really cool. So he did a couple tours around our plant. Um, some of the guys got to see their own homes from the air, which was also pretty neat. Um, and so we got to fly for about 40 minutes, um, and yeah, through that time it was. Yeah, you know, really cool to just see the view of the, uh, of the city and the plants in the local area from up there um, and get to be part of our history, you know, Goodyear's history. You know, the, the blimp is well known, obviously, throughout the, the country and the world, um, but it's a rare day. You know, this is a once in a lifetime for us to get to ride the blimp, so it was a great day for us. I guess one of the things that, that is easy to point out is that there's fewer airship pilots than there are astronauts, right? So it's a, it's a highly specialized, very unique type of job. So, you know, when you, when you do run into pilots, uh, you know, in various locations, you know, at another airport, they're often fascinated by the airship as well, and they want to come out and see how it works and come out for a tour and things like that. Um, most of us all got into, you know, this, this career because we, we loved flying, we were fascinated by it. And, Regardless of the type of pilot, I think most of them have that, that, that same um, impression when they come out and they see the airship. Our, the airship that you see today is, uh, is the Goodyear NT, and it's a, it's a big change in our fleet design from what we had previously. Uh, this new airship has a carbon fiber frame that's on the inside of it. Uh, that allows us to do some really unique things. We can mount the gondolas right to the frame, so we have a larger passenger compartment. Um, today it's configured for up to 10 passengers, plus the two crew flying it up front. Um, we can mount the engines directly to that frame and it lets us articulate those engines. We have a thrust vectoring control system that makes this airship fly different than almost anything else out there. So we can take off and land just like a, a helicopter would and we have unparalleled uh, maneuverability compared to the older ships. So we can take off and hover and then we can swivel at 360 degrees in the air. The differences between flying an, an airship and a, you know, a standard uh, fixed-wing aircraft is really how, how the aircraft stays in the air. So an, an aircraft uses typically, uh, such as a, a jet, would use its, its airspeed to create lift over its wings. With an airship, we use buoyancy, the same principles that make uh, a large ship float out on the ocean. They work exactly the same way for Goodyear's fleet of airships. And we use helium to, to get that ship buoyant enough uh, to make it perform. You become a blimp pilot um, by you know, having the right qualifications at the right time. And for us, that typically means that you're a commercially rated uh, pilot, typically somebody that was a flight instructor in the past. Uh, but the unique thing with their ships is, is that, the, that the flight experience from those other careers doesn't often directly carry over. Uh, so what that means is, is instead of going to a, a program where you would learn to fly a new you know, corporate jet, for instance, in five weeks. We do all of our training in-house over the course of about six months or so uh, to train a new pilot how to fly the airship. So what, what drew me to fly the, the airship? I was, um, I was going to Kent State University back in, in Akron, Ohio, in that area, and uh, Goodyear has the airship base located very close uh, to where we were at. And I remember when I was uh, working through my commercial ratings and thing, or certificates and things like that, seeing the ship actually do some approaches at, over at the airfield that we use. And it kind of captured my imagination a little bit. Um, I later, I instructed, I flew for the airlines for about six years. And, um, and then there was an opportunity that came up at, at Goodyear. And I got to go out and see what the operation was, fell in love with it. And uh, things worked out uh, sometime later down the road. And I wouldn't be doing anything else, so I love it. How long have you been working on the airship? Uh, it'll be six years in April. How long have you been flying overall? 
Uh, about 20. I've been flying for about 20 years. Yeah, I started when I was, uh, I guess, 22 years. I started when I was 16.